Guys, I'm back. I'm back, okay? I want to, th first of all, just uh, sincere extended appreciations to all of you guys that uh, completely stopped growing your beards until I uploaded again. It's fine. Pop is home. You can resume growing the beards, okay? Let's get, let's kick things back in gear. Some of you may know I do get a little bit busy in life. And some of you may also know that I'm also v just vehemently, very, very strongly against cursing. So this may come as a shock when I tell you that I'm just pretty much flipping done giving a freaking heck. So basically I'm breaking all the rules today. Maybe just because I'm a little bit freaking excited about today's brand that we're gonna be talking about. Go! All the freaking tattletales and cyber bullies, go ahead and click down and report it for the video for cursing or inappropriate foul language because you're gonna hear a lot of flips, hex, gosh dang shoots, gosh darn it's, gosh freaking dang it's, did I already say that? Maybe, I'm just, this video is sponsored by Whiskey and Hardtack. If you haven't heard of them, you're probably sleeping under a igneous rock. Many of the other bearded YouTubers have done reviews with the, uh, reviews on these guys. Other people like uh, Bearded Shark have done collabs with them. Dancy Beard has done collabs with him. <coughs> Cyberbully. So here we are. I'm doing a review. And guys, sponsorships are not. There's no reason for me to pick a company and like lie to you about a company or anything like that. Just because I'm sponsored by something doesn't mean that I'm going to be lying to you or like hyping up the company farther than it needs to be hyped or anything like that. Now with this review, I wanna, I wanna steer it in a kind of a different direction than any other review you've seen about this company. And it's about a kind of an interesting topic, right? Now we can talk about the beard products, right? Their beard products are, they're really good, right? So they have a scent called Sleepwalker. I wanted to bring this bottle downstairs and I kept it, I ran out like a week ago. This bottle is pretty much empty. I don't know if you can see that. It's. It's about, it's about gone. Now, in my lifetime of having a beard, if you knew the, the floods of, of, of oodles of beard products that come into my possession from beard companies wanting to be on the channel or get promoted or get my opinion on their stuff, there's barely any time for me to finish a whole beard product, right? So I've finished maybe 10 to 15 actual beard products in my life. This is one of them. This is Sleepwalker by Whiskey and Hardtech. I just spit when I talk. I hope the camera didn't pick that up. Sleepwalker by Whiskey and Hardtech. So on the website, it says it's the lavender vanilla. And this is an understated thing. I think websites should do this more like the beard. A lot of them do. They'll, they'll tell you the scent note because me, when I smell something, I'm just like, that smells good. I'm not like, mm, there's hints of blah, blah, blah. I don't, you know, I don't know that. But I know what I like when I freaking smell it. Again, flag me for cursing. And Sleepwalker is a killer, killer scent, right? Also, let's talk about pricing real quick. Uh, I think it's $15 for a bottle of beard oil. You are getting 20% uh, off if you use beard tube as your promo code uh, with them. But let's not the end. Let's get into some, some serious stuff here. Um, uh, we talked about the beard oils. Beard oils are great, right? Beard butter is great. Um, they also offer this uh, beard wash bar. It's a solid beard wash. Just like a, a big, it's just like a big old bar of good smelling soap, right? But this video is not specifically about the, the beard wash. It's good. Um, let's talk about the beard butter. It's also not specifically about the beard butter, but uh, this is a full body, they call it a full body beard butter, meaning it's not a whipped beard butter. Now, I love a good whipped beard. I like whipped beard butters right, better than regular butters, but that's also probably because I'm not, if I was a conscientious buyer, Hint, hint, foreshadowing. Um, I would probably be buying like solid beard butters, not the the uh, the whipped ones. Because, um, in all honesty, if you took a whipped beard butter and you filled the this to the same height uh, with whipped beard butters, this there'd be much less product in there just because of the aeration within the product, right? So a smart buyer would buy, and you can tell this has got some heft to it. Um, this beard butter is really good. Let me get get you a. I brought a brand new one down here so you could see. Very smooth, right? Actually put some in just a little bit. That sleepwalker scent, man, it's good. So beard butter is great. It's a, uh, it's like a solid beard butter, but it's also super, super smooth. And you can tell because, uh, so the owner, uh, they have another company called um, Sweet Tea and Biscuits and they made soap for a long time. They formulated soap. Um, so you can kind of tell when somebody has a knack and a talent for doing this stuff. I've tried a lot of beard products, a lot of beard butters. You can tell when you get like the gritty stuff that's not fully melted and emul emulsified or mole down to an atomic level <laughs> blended together um, really well. This is super, super smooth. To me, the smoother a beard butter is, the better um, it was created, the better that person knows how to make a beard butter, right? Because you can mess it up. 
And like I said, I do like it with beard butter because it feels really good. But if you think about it in three seconds, it's all melted down to the exact same thing in your hand. So it doesn't really matter. You just get three seconds of cool whipped feeling. Beard oil is just kind of like a regular consistency. There's not, it's not heavy. It's not super light. It's just a great go-to beard oil, right? Um, now let's talk about what I wanted to talk about, which was, I, I mentioned earlier, conscientious buying, right? And I looked at their website and I was emailing the, uh, the owner and this is just kind of a small footnote, a uh, little kind of a small footnote on their like about us page or who are we type of page that most websites or brands will have right and, and they use the words fair trade and uh, um, uh, cruelty free and st stuff like that right and I'm like so I've heard that before with like hippie gluten free vegan people right and I didn't understand fully what that meant I asked the owner I said let me kind of expand upon what that really means two things you can google look up uh, cocoa butter or shea butter and like type in slave labor after that or forced to labor. The things that go on in some countries where chill, like just small kids are forced to work and create something that is shipped over to America and used as a supply for let's say a beard butter or a body butter or whatever, whatever it may be, a cocoa butter lotion or something like that. The amount of some of these raw ingredients that get brought into the United States and sold to you as a consumer is kind of alarming, right? Um, so you're by buying another uh, some random beard company's oil. No, you're not sending some African kid into a field in West Africa to to work all day for two bowls of rice or whatever they would work for. But if you're at all kind of concerned, like on a global scale of what certain people have to do uh, to earn money, or what people are forced to do, um, uh, it's 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 pretty crazy. And to think about what your dollar is supporting. And I'm saying this assuming that a lot of you don't know, but I think a lot of people do understand like the fair trade um, things, uh, things of that nature, right? Ethically sourced fair trade goods. I kind of understood the gist of it until I actually started looking around and di digging into this stuff. And so what do we as Americans have the power to do? We have the dollar, we have the power of the dollar, we buy more than probably anybody else. So I'm not saying right now you need to go buy this, right? But if, if your next beard purchase is coming up, right, and you're debating on a few different companies, maybe try Whiskey and Hardtack, right? And you can c consciously know, number one, you're going to get a great product. I'm I'm guarantee, I'm going to, that, that was like a seal of approval, I think, that I just... I shouldn't have licked my hand, that was weird. You also know that the money you're spending, yes, profits do go to the company, um, but the raw goods that they're buying to create these good, to create these products are being bought from, um, it's very, 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 uh, how do I say, a, a, a vetted source that is not bringing in goods from forced labor or any kind of nasty means. So your one purchase of a, a beard oil and a beard butter or something like that is not gonna save the world. But it's a step in the right direction, and who knows, maybe whiskey and hardtack, when it comes to your front door and you try it out, it becomes a really, like your favorite beard product. And then the rest of your life, over your lifetime of buying beard products, that's actually a significant chunk of money that goes to a fair trade, ethically sourced supplier. So I hope I didn't freaking bore you with this, flag me for cursing. Uh, I told the owner I kind of want to go this route with this video and talk about that because not a lot of people talk about that in this in this community we have of beard people, right? Um, and sh uh, she said that uh, she didn't think uh, people would give a crap. I thought, I think maybe people do, right? I think a lot of people might not know the full extent. And I just take 20 minutes, look online, uh, look up again. You never know what's true, um, but do a little bit of digging, do a little bit of the alphabet Google stuff and look up just like uh, forced labor or slave labor for co just cocoa butter and shea butter. Just those two things. There are definitely some people out there trying to make money by very unscrupulous means and we can then divert our dollar to somebody that's not doing that. So you have the opportunity. Um, I hope you give them a try. I just, my foot just hit my freaking stool and I'm a little bit shorter. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna link them down below. Promo code BeardTube gets you 20% off. That means, so the, the $15 bottle of beard oil at 20% off is $12 now. So even though this company pays more, I didn't mention that, this company pays more to ethically source these products and get a uh, fair trade, um, uh, a supply, basically supplies from a fair trade uh, supplier, it costs more to do that. So you're buying this stuff at this basically the same price, it's like a, the, the standard, industry standard $15 beard oil, and now it's $12, which is actually on the low end of beard oils for a one ounce beard oil. So you could either just buy whatever beard oil you're wanting already, or you could look at whiskey and hardtack. Mm -hmm. Do the right thing, you freaking cyber bullies. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.